Yes, so last giddy at the Hill of Funa, I did life now for Voice of the People. 90.3 yes, uh, welcome <laughs> brother you're looking so good like yeah you'll be one of the celebrities when i don't see when they fresh for real life hmm. for real oh, wow. you and look I, so fresh boss and I cause you know. <laughs> <laughs> well i thank god for that you know so. yeah you're looking it so is good. what it is i don't know yeah why. you look really good say, yeah. yeah all packaging uh, oh, okay. <laughs> that's what I'm wow. <laughs> yeah so you you actually know how to combine your rhymes your lyrics put them all together and just make something very nice and pleasant to the ear mm. like your rap music you know how to rap that's right so how do you manage to find this inspiration where do you find this inspiration from yeah actually started years back um i started with english flows though you know, I was based in the East. That's where I grew up. And um, at some point, I found out the era of I always like to give credit to them. Um, I remember the period I heard um, Bolanle and Monica Don't Kill Me. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, job, that would jump. Jobs done by, done by the legendary um, Junior and Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, late Junior. So I heard it. I, I can't even explain how I felt. You know, listening to pigeon flows. So yeah. I felt like it wouldn't be a bad idea, but to swing to the East. Igbo language right. yeah. angle, not just pigeon. Pigeon is general. You yeah. Know? So that was how I decided to like, let me just try that. And yeah. I I had to. I remember one event, I just tried a little bit of it and and it worked. Where the crowd reacted. Ah. You that, you know, and you were like, like so, so I'm not like, good like this. I swear. Like, <laughs> no, it was the acceptance was awesome. Okay. Mm. Like when they do English flows, they'll be like, oh, nice. Yeah, nah, cool. This guy can mine. Yeah. Because yeah. I actually believe you are doing someone else's Stuff. songs. Yeah. yeah. But hearing that evil language, what they relate every day, they, with, you know, yeah. they're like, no, it must be the person that wrote it. So yeah. the reaction was awesome. I felt like, okay, if they love it this way, let that me means just, you can pick it up. Ah, from let there. me just hold on to it. And like, you, you really held it down for a very, very long time. That's right. Like, you're, one, you're one of the pioneers of Afro life and, um, Igbo rap. Yes, Igbo rap. I am rap. very correct. Af yeah, Afro are. high life. Yeah. Afro high life. They call it Afro beat though. You know, Afro hip hop. Mm, it but, depends but, on how but, you... But as a way you guys blend that high life yeah. to the Afro the beat. beat yeah. And it becomes Afro high life. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So, um, if you hear a couple of reggae tunes in it, yeah. or samples, will you call it Afro reggae? <laughs> no, no, it's I don't know. Hip hop is just like yeah. a blend of different. You can use violin to do your re a hip hop song. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't stop you from being hip hop. You understand? And yeah. yeah, that's where the Afro beat, like you know. All right. So, um, how has um being an artist affected other other areas of your your life? Ah, see, yeah, uh, see, uh, this artist stuff, uh, they affect like your normal self. Yes, you see yourself. Sometimes you don't even know when you do it. Mm. You see yourself. You know, trying to be mindful of things you say you do because yeah. you know there are invincible eyes on you. Yeah. Sometimes I go to drive, you know how we did drive for night. Yeah. Go to drive. Go go the, yeah, you, you don't know, go feel talk. You don't want no sometimes <laughs> yeah. you don't want talk. Yes. It has happened true. to me a lot. You can't remember saying are you be nigga and are you be uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Ron. Ron. Ah, Mr. Ron. Ron. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Are you? So I should shut up. Yeah. I shouldn't address the issue. You see yourself trying to like just drop it because the person is already letting you know I'm your fan. Yeah. So the whole lot you try to manage at the same time. They don't see us as humans. Yeah. Right. You understand? Yeah. They don't. At some point, I appeared on um, the front page of a newspaper. One of my managers back then, Larry, called me like, ah, bros, you did newspaper, go buy them. Over something, we happen for streets. Which happened? So across me road. Hey! Uh, you understand? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Uh, that I didn't use the pedestrian bridge. It wasn't like it's a bad thing for them to try to let me know yeah. it's not the right thing to do. Yes. But Instead. That reason, that, you, so you can imagine anything I want to do now. No, they like, just snap and move on paper. The person will see me, be like, say, the inside boss <laughs> saw me and... Took a picture. Wow. No, he didn't take a picture. It wasn't even the era of mobile phone and yeah. all that oh, stuff. Like, it wasn't, no. Oh, but he, he just picked the picture the, and yeah. captioned it and put it on the front page. Wow. You understand? And okay, yeah. I'll be like, okay, whatever you do, just Of course, you, you're, you're a celebrity you. now. Yeah, you're not supposed to be I crossing mean, the road like that. Where, like, where is your car? <laughs> <laughs> like two or eyes of me. Yeah. 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 I'm mindful that people yeah. care about me, that I should use pedestrian bridge because if anything had happened, right. like, yeah. but 
it was on the front page. I'll be like, ha, wow. nah, I'm going to do very careful. So that's mm. it. Yeah, okay. So aside from um, music and entertainment, what do you, I, and I'm sure, you, because all this freshness, you should have other sources of income. Okay, so, music business is all I do. If I'm, if I'm ah, to be a well, medical well, doctor, will yeah. you have asked aside being a medical doctor? I mean, it's possible. It, you, you it can, is. You can, you can, you can but do it's music business. Is. I do music. So that's all you do. And you yes. love doing music. Wow. And, 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 and it pays out. Like you have to stretch it. I <laughs> love it. it. Yeah. I love it. Love it. That's nice. All right. All our sweet and beautiful listeners out there, we've got Mr. Raw in the building and he's going to be holding it down with us from now till 1 15 mm. and we're all vibing and everything is all you know i you know as they go now people's drive I people's mean, drive yes. too much flexing all right so this is a song from mr raw featuring flavor it's titled nabanya. yeah guys that was actually flavor featuring mr raw with nabanya and it was a very 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 popular and banging collab yes mr. every raw, time you played uh, a very big role I in this concur. song. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember back then he told me the song was the hook was already an anthem. Yeah. In yeah. Yeah. You know, so he told me about it. I said, okay, come over. He came and we got it done. Yeah. In your studio? Yeah. Yes. Love it. Wow. <laughs> okay. Every time so my Kela, what's up? and uncles used to vibe to this song. Uh, <laughs> It was a big tune, you know. Yeah. It was a very and big still one. Still is for real. Very, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Every time it felt like it was just released. Yes. I was yeah. vibing. I was just we were shouting. <laughs> people loved it. Great yeah. song. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, great song. Yeah, Mr. Ross. So you know, you're here with the voice of the people on People's Drive with Ash and Kayla. Okay. Are you enjoying yourself? Are you good? I'm having fun. Yeah, it's yes. a cool place. I <laughs> right. Saw this All right. We've got we've got a call. Someone maybe someone wants to talk to you. Okay. Oh, oh lost, we lost that. that one. Call us back 0700-903-903-903. Mr. Yes. Raw is in the building and it's going to be holding it down for some time. So you can call in and ask your questions, That's vibe right. with him, tell him what you love about him, and you can also shed your light into his music career and yeah, mm. keep it going. Yeah. So, what has been the biggest challenge of being an artist, Michael? Um, the biggest was um, piracy. You understand? Then things were manually done and you find yourself in a situation where your songs are everywhere. Yeah. But it wasn't your marketer that was marketing it because people will just copy and push. Hey, yeah. Sometimes they push it to areas that you've not conquered. Yeah. People want it, but you know, there's no um, item, the product for them to purchase. Right. Some other person will make the move. And people will be writing you because then it was, like I said, it was things were manually done. Yeah. yeah. So we do lots of um, email, yeah. you know, Yahoo Messenger, Facebook kind of thing, you know? <laughs> That's so true. you see people, they will now write, ah, man, I just buy, I just buy. And within the day, your head, nah, ah, the market, they sell. The <laughs> you know, market, ah, you never push them. You never push them. You understand? Yes. So that was the biggest challenge. You That's understand true. back yeah. then, uh, before mm. the digital era, and now you can monitor your your songs when it it, it, it gets streamed and all that people download and uh, yes, at least you can yes. get something out of it, and you can even request for yeah. the logs of what was sold and streamed, and you will get them depending on the person you're working with. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that was the biggest challenge back then. All right. So are you currently working on a new mix music project? Um, I am comfortable dropping singles right now. Like mm. yes. Okay. I've not dropped an album for yes. a while. And people are requesting for that. But yes, I am. I just feel like, you know, single just do shoot just do something. And, yes. Like Nah. Just drop that stuff and see. No, no, no. no, no. Now nah, like, senior man level now. You know Enjoyment like, way. Nah, nah, as a big nah, boy. Yeah. Let me say if you know drop arm, um, you know go chop. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey. So but you go still calmly they drop arm, um, you know, because yeah. people still wants to hear your voice, yeah. you know, listen to your wordplay, rhymes and all that stuff. So Yeah. So yeah. Uh, okay, we've got this call. Let's yeah. take this on. Hello. 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 Yeah, good afternoon. Hi. Well, good. good. What's your name? Where are you from? Mr. Ro, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Good afternoon. <laughs> it's good to have your VOP. Thank you wow. very much. Right. I'm a top guy, but you guys are doing so great too. Mm. Wow. Wow. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Mr. Ro, wow. Hello. It's, it's, 
it's been a while. It's been a while for me. Thank you for those new vibes. What is up for this? I go try. I go try. You Please, know. you are expecting more and more from you, I beg. I go Especially try. this year, you were up. I'll, I'll, I definitely will, I promise. We're looking mm. forward please, to that. Please, please. I, I want that. to request for over the daily gun. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we got you covered. Yes. yes. Number yeah. one, Ide. Ide, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's one of my best songs. I Thank love you so very much. much. Thank you. All right, yeah. thanks, for, thanks for thanks calling. Thanks for calling. Keep listening. You're welcome, bye. Mm. Mm. Over there. Oh, no, no, that Funny job. enough, yesterday, yeah. you know, when I, after I bumped into blackface, yeah. Yeah. you know, I posted it on my Instagram. Social account. media. But like, I, it was boom. And I, Where did you find I, this I'm guy? I drop something. <laughs> yeah. Something, you know, like. Yeah. And it's, got, it's going to be very nice. It's been a while. It's going to be very nice. Day, Imagine I, um, I said, okay, Mr. Ruff featuring Blackface. And it will be conscious music. It, very I conscious. I thought about it and I said, okay, I'm going to put a call across to Blackface. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Wow. And, oh. we'll and on, we've got a studio. Something. We've got a studio over here. You can so just <laughs> make it in our <laughs> studio. Well, after I speak with him, yeah. I know which one is more comfortable for him. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Like so, so we should really be expecting something from Blackface and Mr. Ro. Hopefully. Wow. 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 I can't oh, wait. Hopefully. I can't wait. <laughs> ah, some people like, ah, it's a hard life we will deliver. But they're like, ah, boss, just do your rap and let him do this. It will make sense. So. Conscious thing. So it will make sense. It's, it's mm. one, yeah. So, right. well, Mr. Rod, do you, do you currently have any, should I say, regrets within your music career up to this point? Or mistakes? Maybe. Yeah. I think mistakes. I would say mistakes and learning um, um, lessons to be learned, which, you know, I believe I learned, mm. you know, but... No regrets. Okay. Because at some point, all we do is make plans. You don't even know how big your song was going to be yeah. while you were in the studio. You're just putting in your best. Yeah. That's so true. if you're having regrets, is it like you're very sure that the song will get to this point? I know coverage. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah. yeah. I do tell people if artists know songs that will be hits, yeah. why release the one that won't be hits? Mm. That's you true. just put you in your really best. Know. You just put in your like best exactly. and leave and the rest for the fans. It more than, that's why sometimes when when we drop albums, our favorite will be the people's favorite. Yeah, so you have theirs. Yeah, you put enough energy, energy on that one. You will shoot video for another one. You're feeling and all that. Yeah. yeah, you're just putting in your best. So I don't have regrets. You okay, understand? but I have mistakes I made and lessons, and I know one of the biggest lessons I learned as an artist is always keep relationships with people very smooth yeah. whether you're in touch with them or not don't step on people's don't toes bridges yes. yeah you might get pissed along the line and all that but when you're calm you can be like nah bro just go i'm no wahala nothing there because at some point you will still meet even yeah. if you're not be, even if you're not be enemies imagine you bumping into your enemy at the airport and your kids and their kids coincidentally people on the same flight and stuff I want to keep the play. You see, make make them talk to each other. Right. Yeah. You see yeah. like, okay, exactly. yeah. it's, it's, it's not a good way. big deal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not a good way to bring up a child. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, except you really want to stop, um, stop pretending to people like everything is smooth yeah. when it's not. But keep relationships with people. Uh, it's very important. Keep it smooth for real. Mm. I like that. Yeah. All right. So we will be listening to more music from Mr. Raw. Like more and more music from Mr. Rob. We've got it loaded right here on our system. <laughs> so coming up next is Unwa Kalaba by Mr. Rob featuring Young, Young L. L. Let's good enjoy this song. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome good afternoon. to VOP 90.3. We're we'll good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. the People's Drive, and we've got Mr. Rob in the building. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I got that. Welcome, Mr. Rob. Good to have you here. Thank you very um, much. I the greetings special. Hey, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, my name is Tonto. I'm calling you from Ajao Estate. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, I would like you to play me. <laughs> ah, that's the second well, time. Yeah. So, yeah. Obode Deluvo times two. All yes. right, all it's right, we're gonna do sure. it. That should be the next song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Arch money, Kayla, you guys are doing it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. When I heard Daro is in in the studio, I'm like, wow, these these guys are good. <laughs> you know, um, just one word from Mr. Daro would like to to have a repeat of this Obode. Maybe like a remix, you know, okay. just okay. because. Yes, yes, I would just say that um, you're legend, you're good, 
and they won't like it to just choose it out like that. Just give us some of this mix up of the old music that you know okay. you are meant. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Cynthia. I appreciate it. All right, thank you so thank much. Thank you for, for calling. calling. Okay, so coming up next is Obodo. Obodo Edoli Wonu by Mr. Raw featuring Clean the Drunk. Let's get the song. Obodo remix. Future, Mr. Raw featuring Clean the Drunk. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes. It's still the people's drive on voice of the people 90.3 FM. And we've got the legendary Igbo Man. Yes, so, uh, 24 Mr. Igbo Man. Ah, yeah, so, I like that. Mr. Roth, you want to tell us about us? Yeah, you want to tell us something about Obodo. Yeah, this song actually was a song God blessed me with. That was the yeah. first popular song, you know, people embraced from me. And I remember back then when I went to record it, I reached out to Clean the Junk. It was written by my friend um, The Hook, mm. Smarter Man. So I told Clean, this is The Hook I want to use for his song I want to record because Smarter Man happens to be my partner when we were in, in school, as in yeah. rap partner then, you know, who had a rap group then in school. So, I and Clint recorded the song. Today, people still doubt if Clint was actually the person yeah. that sang the with you. Hook. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You know, because they can't imagine him making the, that kind the of song. They know. <laughs> yeah. You know, in the comedy. In the comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seriously. Yeah. But funny enough, all his jokes are about songs. Oh. Wow. If you are. A he's a, he's a musician. Him, that's what I'm saying. If you are his fan, you know all his jokes are. He recently big. performed in this My Talent and I oh, show. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Nice one, yeah. Yeah, so, um, so Mr. Rowe. And the remix, when I dropped the song, it was this slow version I dropped first and okay. I shot a video directed by Ozodima um, Obechi. Mm. Then, yes, so people loved the song, but they could not vibe to it in clubs. So I decided to, to do the remix. Do something people can dance to. And funny enough, the person that did the remix, yeah. that produced the remix, is Soso Sobreko. Uh, wow. Yes. Unbelievable. I'm telling wow. you. Wow. I, I never, I never knew, knew he was, he was right. into production. I never... He was. Like the songs on Five Star Record Label, was was he was he amongst the producers? Then? I can't I talk think about he was it just because I don't really know, but I know that um, among me featuring uh, featuring Flavor, yeah. Yeah. yeah, was produced by Soso. Wow. wow. Yes. Uh, oh, my mommy, uh, yeah. Yes. Then um, even um, my late friend MC Loaf. Yeah. Mm. Featuring so rest in peace. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So rest in peace. Or Sunday or Wendy. Yeah. And so so produce them. Um, hmm. Listen. Uh, so 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 be like, okay, don't worry, I got you. Let me do something people can vibe to. Yeah. And he played. That's the last song I added in that album. Album. Oh. He did it, and I was. And like, it was the hit of the album. I had to call to Dem- Dem- go, No, never go. <laughs> you know, never print. I get somewhere one ad. It's okay, just compile and bring. I did, you know, for really here. And wow. you, you didn't believe, you didn't expect the outcome. Why? I, I I did not like that, but I vibed to it. We loved it before we added it. You understand? He yeah. told me yeah. let him just play something he had to play and we revoiced. It came out where people were dancing because where the in studio did then now for really mm. yeah I got to do I beg if you see it's okay I took him to see if I go then I wow. went after by ah, fire go there give up you know all those upcoming up. artists yeah. paro ah, yeah. you know, <laughs> that time he that time he never stopped like this to, uh, you know? yeah so that was how it happened and it came out well you know? yeah so shout out to everybody that you know put that, uh, yeah. in this project yeah Work. massive one from clean the junk to so 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 break all all right, mm. so let's quickly just let's drift a little from music, mm. Mr. Raw. I I recently saw a post of you. You endorsed a politician and a presidential candidate recently. Yeah. Mm. So, can you tell me or tell us the the reason behind your decision? I know the give shishi. <sighs> Was that the reason behind it? I know the they give shish. <laughs> no, that can't be true. To. No, but that's the truth now. <laughs> Why I said that, a lot of people will still, you know, yeah. align to it. I know they give shish on to say, you don't really need to. Just like, let me use a, uh, uh, um, the music business I'm into. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If my song is good, play it. I don't need to give you money. You understand? For you yes. to play it. That means if I have a bad song, I'll give you money, you will still play it. Okay, mm. you understand. You're yeah. not helping me as an artist. Yeah. You're not helping your station. You're not helping your, you know, listeners also. Because if the if you if you concentrate on doing your job and giving them quality, you know, jams to vibe to, yeah, 
then I can appreciate you if your job is good. That's why they have prizes for positions. If you come first, there should be a prize for first position. Yeah. So that it will encourage you to do more next time. Yeah. yeah. So that we know the gift shishi. I have a reason why I put it that way because you don't need the shishi to do your work. Mm. Yeah. Salaries they come end month of uh, um, end of end the of month, month, not the beginning. Yeah, they go employ you, pay you salary. You go chop and finish. No, no, no. Uh, you understand? Uh, hey. So it will encourage you to work harder again. So yeah. You know, give shishi. Yeah, right. So you're yeah. you're you're in essence saying that P to B is P2B, your presidential P2B, candidate. Yes, yes. That's my candidate. That's who I'm. You know, standing with all the way. Okay. All right. That's a good one. And I no go give shishi. <laughs> <laughs> Still standing on that. Okay so. okay, so who is your favorite Nigerian artist? I want to know. Whether back then, now, we just want to know. <laughs> I'm curious. Ah, that was strong, girl. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's strong. But as a rapper, yeah, my favorite is Fino. Mm. Mm. Yes. Real. And I think you're a source of inspiration for Fino yes, too, because I you were am, you were like a godfather for all of them. Yeah, yes. and he also made me feel like made me understand the way people felt back then when they were listening to my songs. Okay. Yeah. You hear punchlines, you and hear wordplay, yeah. you hear melodies, and you understand. You're mind and blown. Ask for more. This, yeah. These an entertainer being entertained. So yeah. as a rap star, that's who I'll mention that is my favorite okay 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 Okay, so i know that's your song crossroads yeah i I know there 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 are a lot of inspirations emotions behind that song yeah i'm actually more of a storyteller yes you are most times i be like okay most of my songs are you know topic driven yeah so the crossroad is not far from what you just mentioned all the things you mentioned the emotions yes yes oh due to due to the the, the ghastly water accident the, you had the, the, the um, commercial break <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah the accident was a terrible one yeah mm. I, I i i don't even know how to express how i felt because mm. like I, I i saw something online where you said you you passed out two times yeah i did wow. i passed out twice Wow. Oh I didn't, my God. I didn't, I didn't hear his sound. I saw it coming. I saw it about to happen when it was about to happen. When it happened, I didn't hear his sound. Yeah. Wow. But it was when I woke up and I passed When it happened car. immediately, you didn't hear a sound. Yeah. It was just saw, like... I saw the car. Blank. Coming. Wow. But when it hit us, you know when you hear metal on metal yeah. or bricks? Right, bricks, right, right. I didn't hear his sound. Wow. Like the turned off the volume of whatever is happening around. I don't around. want to. I don't want to be in that situation. No, no you don't. You don't. You oh don't my have god! To. It was a terrible war. Wow. Yeah, it was. But thank God I'm alive. Thank yes. God. Thank God yes. you're alive. So that was what inspired god. that song. I Cross felt road. like let me just do something. Talk about it. And yeah. Yeah. And it was a very nice song. It was touchy. I didn't want yes, to promote it. It was a nice song. The lyrics. People that listened to it were like, ah, it was touchy. Some cried and all that. It made them cry and be like, I don't want to promote this. Oh. I appreciate the fact that I'm alive, but let me not make people move. Like, in, yeah. Head and all that. So, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So, back to Raw Deal Entertainment. Do you have any artists on yeah. that record label? Um, no. Why? I don't currently, you know, because um, somehow I feel like the younger ones should pick up the button and continue the journey. I strive. Why I do backslide a little bit. And but you're still you're still rest. young. That no be about. Being you're young. still you're still young now. People like uh, no Theresa Nora about. just featured in a song and uh, Victor Waifo and the rest. I try my best. I support. I promote. Yeah. I push. Yeah. But I didn't sign anybody. I have a whole lot of them that have given my support to as an artist. Yeah. Because I mustn't sign you. You understand? Yeah. I'm still active. So if I get a call, I'll tell them no. I don't want to let my boy do it. Or you understand? So yeah. There's a whole lot because I'm not fully in that you know, spirit to move and hands off and allow people to 
do this. So I feel like, what can I do to support, to assist? Because I'm an artist doesn't mean I'll be a good artist manager. Because I'm an artist doesn't oh. mean I'll be a good dancer. You understand? Yeah. If I feel you're a good dancer and this guy can teach you how to dance, you go. I, you don't, have a I don't want to like be old because I don't think I must. You understand? So that's the way I look at it. Mm. But when I get this, feel like, okay, fine. Let me push this person. I'll push. Do you after. intend on doing that? That that will be later. Oh. You understand? Now, the job we do is um, I'm self-employed. Yeah. But the kind of job I do is if I fall sick, money doesn't come in till I get better. Mm. So whatever I plan now is what I will live on for yeah. the rest of my life. So if I don't make that plan... So when you had that accident, you, you, it, was, it wasn't that easy for you? No, I didn't beg. Yeah, but I'm just telling you what I had saved. Yeah, yeah. I okay, myself. okay. Yeah. yeah, I get it. So there, are, there are this stuff that you, when you get to a point in life, you need to make plans ahead because you don't yeah. know. Yeah, exactly. Know, what can happen? Exactly. Yeah. So for me to even do that, sign artist, I want to like be very sure you can handle it. Not ahead. No be. Yeah. No be any other way. way. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so Mr. Raw, we've, 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 act, we've actually added some extra time <laughs> to this interview. And you know, in the radio station, it's all sacrosanct when it comes to time. So one last word, my brother, for your fans right now and the listeners out there. Thank you very much for all the support all these years. Mm. You know, I don't know you people officially, but I know a whole lot of people supported my brand. And um, I want to appreciate each and every one of you. And God will continue to bless you. But if I see you for rude, well, I feel bless you with one or two, you know? Yes, yeah, so. For now. Baba, you go bless me today. I know what happened. <laughs> I but believe I you. I just want you to know. <laughs> I really, really appreciate yeah. each and every one of you. And if you're an artist out there, don't give up on your dreams. You understand? Some of your friends might make it before you. Doesn't mean you will make it the moment he made it too. Just hold on to your dream. Keep pushing. And one day your dream will become a reality. But yeah. before that will happen, you need to wake up and make your dream a reality. Because if you're dreaming, you're still sleeping. Yeah, thank you. Mm. you heard that from Mr. Ro. Don't stay in your dream. Wake up and chase your Let dream. Your <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, yeah, be active. Money. So, yeah, People's Drive, VOP 90.3 FM. And